Today we're opening the most hyped Yu-Gi-Oh set of 2023, Photon Hypernova. What's up guys, we're back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh opening. Photon Hypernova is here, and this set is supposed to be crazy, especially off the ban list, it's killed a bunch of decks. There's a lot of great cards in here, so let's just go ahead and crack into this. So as we're cracking into this box, I wanna remind you guys that this is a pre-order time. So we're like before Friday when everyone can sell on TCG Player. You can grab these from your local store right now at, on Wednesday, this is the time I'm recording this, Thursday and stuff like that, but on Friday, that's when everyone can start selling this set. So a lot of the singles are going to be extremely inflated in terms of value keep that in mind we're going to have the values pop up but that's currently the pre-sale prices so it's probably going to go down for a lot of them but this is a pretty big set a lot of the cash tier stuff is going to be pretty crazy it's going to be pretty uh meta defining i according to what i've heard you guys know i don't play too much but that's what i've heard but some of these prices are absolutely insane i think the starlight that we're going to be going for there's a couple that i really like the look of but of course the mirror jade is the reprint starlight very nice looking cards so hopefully we can pull that one let's get right into it and of course if you guys want to win the giveaway we're giving away every card that we pull in this video so like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you're excited about in photon hypernova there's a lot of good options because well it depends on if you uh you know are excited about cash tier which i don't think a lot of people actually are but you might be playing the deck because it's going to be pretty good i'm not doing a, i'm not doing a pack trick this whole time because we have 48 packs to open today it's a new set uh, i'm trying to post this video today i'm gonna have to edit it myself we have a tri brigade arms bosophilus very cool and uh, also, if you guys are really excited for the set, we will, of course, be opening cases of this. I am also going to be opening a case of this tomorrow, I think, maybe Friday, something like that. Oh, there's a super rare. Very cool. I'm going to be opening a case of this for another video. So you're going to get a case video, which doesn't happen very often. And of course, we're going to do a live stream with multiple cases on probably Saturday. That's the goal right now. Uh, I think tomorrow or Friday, we're doing the case opening that was provided by my locals. So my locals at Frontline Games actually had said, hey, you guys, what you want to open up a case? You know, you can open up a case for us. I was like, sure, that sounds awesome. I'll, I'll do that. That'll be really fun. So we're supposed to be doing that if I can get it edited by tomorrow. If not, then it'll be Friday. Are all super so far. Slow start. That's okay. We're saving the heat for last. And then I'm going to do another video, I think, with Photon Hypernova. So we're going to have a lot of Photon Hypernova coming up. We also have a lot of really cool videos that I've been planning. Uh, we have one for my two-year anniversary coming up. That's a Ruxin special right there. Two-year anniversary of, can you guess, what two-year anniversary of what? What is he talking about? Daily uploads. We have uploaded daily for two straight years coming up on February 25th. So we're getting very close to that. A couple weeks away, maybe three weeks at this point. I don't remember what the date is, to be honest. I think we're 16 days away, something like that. So yeah, basically a couple couple weeks. We have yet to pull anything. It feels like a collector rare set, if you guys know what I'm saying. You know, we're basically, uh, you know, collector rearing it up. We have Meteor Rush, Intimidating Aura, Chaos Beast, another Ruxus special. It's these, I'm telling you, this new card stock makes it so hard to not pull that card right before the, uh, right before the foil along with it. So far, just supers, but that means a lot of ultras and secrets coming up. I did mix these together, so we're going to have a little bit of a mixed opening here. We have a sneaky seed. There it is, another Ruxin Special. I will not Ruxin Special the next one. Just go ahead and mark that down. There's a 0% chance I'll Ruxin Special. All right, next pack. Can we get a Starlight? I haven't gotten a Starlight, so I got these two for my locals as well. I don't think I've pulled a Starlight out of the one or two boxes. I have pulled a Ghost from them before. Uh, there is an ultra rare gold prize star Leon. Okay. I think I saw this guy was actually kind of expensive, but I figure it's kind of far down the list in terms of value. I figured that some of the other cards will probably beat it out in terms of being an actual value card, but ultra rare. I don't think that's a great archetype from what I've heard. The, uh, the gold pride, it's a new archetype in this set, but I don't think it's supposed to be that crazy compared to like all the new cash tier stuff and stuff like that. First ultra rare, not bad. We'll take that. I don't remember what I was talking about before that, but I know I didn't Rex and special there. So that I almost did there, but I didn't. And then a Cardon the Clear Sighted. Very nice. Cash Tier, a big bang. I don't know if any of the commons are great for Cash Tier. We'll have to see. I will say, the artwork on this pack and on the box is really beautiful. I'm a big fan of it. I think it looks really good. Uh, I think it is a nice looking set overall. Shell of Chaos. We got Dino Mondo, Joe the Gravity Ninja, Dogmatica Matrix, some more Dogmatica. Hey, look, you know I like Dogmatica, but we'll have to see. You guys think Invoke should all Dogmatica make it a comeback now that uh, Tier Laments has gotten hit a lot? Tier Laments, that's how you say it, guys. I don't know if you guys knew that. Land flipping, we have the Branded Befallen, Scareclaw Cash Tier. I think this is actually kind of a sick card. Wait, did this get like a... Wasn't this in the OTS 21? I can't remember. Plunder Patrol Ship Jord. I could have sworn that was an OTS 21, which would be weird since that, you know, they kind of came out at the same time. What what card am I thinking of? I'm probably thinking of a different card that looks similar. We have a Bestial Baldrake. Uh, this card looks kind of insane. 
Yeah, it kind of looks insane. I see the line. We got land flipping. We got Numeron creation. Gold pride, Leon. So we got the gold pride boxes. All right, maybe this is the one I was thinking of. I think this is the, the big one for the gold pride set. Yeah, they currently have this at $16.99, which I doubt is going to hold up, but we'll have to see. Maybe if that's like the main focus of, you know, of the deck and that's like the best card that might hold up a little bit, but it's like way down the list. It's like the eighth most valuable card, which usually doesn't you know, bode well. Shell of Chaos, got Photon Emperor, we got Joe the Gravity Ninja, and Galactic Karibo, super rare. I love to see those super rare Karibos. That's awesome. That's a cool looking Karibo too. I'm a fan of that. It's not as good as the, you know, Magic Karibo. That's the best Karibo ever made, but second best maybe. <sighs> Hyped new sets. So many new things coming out. We had Banlist, we had OTS, we have the new, uh, you know, this set, new core set, I guess you would call it. Lot of stuff coming out. It's been insane in terms of new content. It's been fun, you know, a lot of content for me, which is always great. I see the line, giant ball game to go with the giant ballpark, Shell of Chaos, the Gravity Ninja. We got Arctos the 12th. All right, Arctos the 12th. He was once a ruler in the 1400s. Very cool. Uh, what else can we get? We're, we're like maybe a box in, something like that. Numeron Creation, Evil Eyes Unleashed, Giant Ball Game, Yagumaro. Okay, that's not the foil. And then, oh, number C62. Is this the cover card? Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Yes, this is a photon set, I know, based on the name, but you don't really see a lot of photons. Cover card pulled. Hey, pretty good opening. Not gonna lie, this is fire artwork. That is fire artwork. I don't know, does that have a starlight? No starlight. You're telling me the cover card isn't a starlight. That's a bummer. I mean, it's probably a terrible card, but still, it looks awesome. That's all that matters, right? All right, Photon Hypernova, can you prove to us the epicness? We have Abyss Script, very cool. Land flipping, Photon Emperor. Gigantic Thundercross, Green Ninja, that's a super rare, okay. Just the Green Ninja, very nice, but not the Starlight we are looking for. So far, what, two Ultras, that's it, maybe three, no, two Ultras and a Secret. Cash Terror Overflap, Abyss Actor, Super Producer, he produces. Chaos Mirage Dragon, I really like these Chaos cards, I think they look pretty sick. A lot, it's Banish the Light in the Dark, you know, Gage style, very, very cool. Still a lot of packs to go in this new Photon Hypernova opening, hopefully you guys are enjoying it and hopefully you guys are excited because look we opened amazing defenders last time not quite as exciting i'm definitely more excited about this gold pride nitro blaster we are pulling a lot of gold pride stuff today yeah we are definitely more excited about this set than uh than amazing defenders which did age a little bit better than expected with the uh the ev stuff you know whatever they're called pearly core of chaos and ultimate great insect let's go my insect queen has become an ultimate great insect <laughs> There you go. I'm sure you guys really wanted to hear that. You're welcome. I'm, I'm glad I could bless your ears with that. I probably jump scared a bunch of people who were like just listening to the video. They weren't actually watching it. They're like, oh my gosh, what was that? Dynamondo. We've got, oh, Cash Tira Rise Heart. That was a Ruxin special right to the Cash Tira Rise Heart. Hey, it had been a while since we Ruxin special. I'm not going to lie. That's, I think, a very good card. They've got that one at almost 25 bucks. So that's going to be a solid card. It probably won't hold up at 25 bucks, but hey, the Cash Tira Core is probably going to be pretty expensive, so it might hold up pretty well. Bestial Baldrock, we've got the Abyss Dragon Sword Soul. Whoa, it has Sword Soul in the name, cool. So that means a Sword Soul card. I mean, yeah, that's obvious, but of course, that's a, uh, you know, Sword Soul is pretty strong. It's mostly a, uh, you know, Master Duel deck at this point, I think, but it is still pretty strong or pretty decent in the TCG. A lot of the branded, I do have a full uh, a full deck myself, Gishki, Grimness, and an Ultra Rare or Orf, orfable the harmonious bullfighter bard i remember this guy from the leaks this guy has amazing artwork he's dope i think he's banished two lights two darks yeah it's insane his cost is nuts it's from your hand or graveyard though so a couple more options in there can you imagine banishing four cards for one it's kind of insane but hey he is pretty strong when he gets out there we've got photon emperor gigantic thundercross core of chaos shell of chaos Card on the clear sighted. He has sight that is clear. Very nice. Still a lot of packs left. This is actually, uh, I keep thinking we're like getting close, but we're really not. Meteor Rush. Uh, apparently, this card people are like thinking it might be kind of lit. Just as a common Core of Chaos, Plunder Patrol Ship, and Shored. Plunder Patrol is always trying to have more support that'll do something, and I don't think they ever do. They are not usually very good. Shell of Chaos, very cool. Gishki Grimness, Galaxy 100, Branded Befallen, Gold Pride Nitro Head. Uh, Manticore of Smashing, Infinite Antelion, we got Sour Scheduling, and Castera Bag Bang. Photon Hypernova, here we go. You gotta believe, Dino Mondo, Joe the Gravity Ninja. Whoa, that was a Rhizard, I ruined it, no! 
another Ruxin special. That was a super Ruxin special. I think that's what we should do. When I do more than one card, that's a super Ruxin special. I think we got to add that. Cash Tira Arise Heart Secret Rare. This is a Starlight. I mean, this can be a Starlight, a little bit different. Uh, this is like 37, 38 right now. So that's one of the big hits. So that's a great hit. By the way, you guys can win all these cards. Don't forget, this is a giveaway. Uh, every single card we pull. So no matter the value or whatever, you guys get to keep, or at least one of you guys gets to keep these. I am a little behind on my giveaway announcements, which by the way, are another secret rare, another Rux special. That was another super Rux special, by the way. That was two cards. And it's another cash tier card. So that's good. Oh, and this one is a hundred bucks. Okay, yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's a card right there, guys. Okay, yeah, we have we have ourselves a Cash Tira $98 secret rare. No big deal, nothing to worry about. All right, cool card, guys. All right. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so I super Rux is specialed into a $100 card, the best secret rare in the set. Yeah, that is pretty strong. I don't remember what I was talking about before that because that was a hit, man. Yagamoro. Okay. Oh, why did I think that was the foil? Tier Elements, Cash Tira. Another Cash Tira card. Hey, look. Tier Limits, not Tier Elements, Tier Limits. I got it, I got it, Farfa, okay? Another $21 card according to pre-order prices. So I'm, you know, I'm sure those will go down, but I know people were pre-selling like the cores at like 700 bucks for like a cash tier core. I mean, that's absurd. It's three of each of, you know, all the stuff usually, but that is still crazy. I mean, these cards are super hyped. Wow, there's still a lot of packs left. Wow, okay, if we get a Starlight here, that's gonna be big. Photon Emperor, okay, I, that is, no! Another Super Ruxin special into a Gatsteer of Theosis, whatever it's called. No, another $100 card. This is going to be a crazy giveaway. How many secrets is that? Wait. Both boxes had one. Oh, my gosh. One kind of a dud. Then two of these, the best card. No way, dude. That is absurd. Wow. Wow. I should have should have kept these boxes. You know what I'm saying? That is nuts, dude. Talk about a giveaway. Wow. Photon Hypernova. We've already pulled four secret rares, so I think we're out of secrets. But we'll have to see. Uh, Starlights, anybody? You know, land flipping, green ninja. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was absurd. I, I was like, I think I thought we had already pulled all our secrets before that one, and then uh, apparently not. I was wrong. Intimidating ore, that was crazy. Thundercross. I have super Rux and special, or actually, I guess regular Rux and special when it's only one pass. Yeah, that was just a regular Rux and special, but I've super Rux and special a couple times too. But it is so hard on the, on these new cards. Like this new card stock has no friction. Brandon Befall. The only one that does is the foil. Big welcome labyrinth. I think this one's good too. People really like the labyrinth archetype, but it's I think it's kind of like mid. It's like okay. It's not like really bad or anything, but it's not great. Yeah, that's like a supposedly twenty right now. So you know, I'm sure a twenty dollar card would probably be more like a five dollar card. Like once we get to like the real prices, but still, a five dollar card's not bad for an ultra rare. Giant ball game. We've got another Rux special. The Levy TN Generator Boss of Shadows. That's an ultra rare. That's pretty nice. I don't I haven't seen that one before, so I don't think it's too valuable. But generators, I guess, you know, not that crazy. All right, a few more packs. Light of the branded. I we feel like we definitely have some ultras left. We have Gold Pride. Start your engines. Today we have a race between Photon Hypernova and Ruxin 34. All right, Gigantic Thundercross. Yagamoru, Photon Emperor, Intimidating Ore, Queen Butterfly, Danaeus. They look more insects for Weevil Underwood. <laughs> All right, we're down to the last less than 10, maybe. No, maybe it is 10 exactly. I don't know, something like that. Now, have I been opening slow? I'm not sure. Brandon Befallen, Gold Pride, and Nitro Blaster. Will we get something else epic like a Starlight? If we get a Starlight, these have been like the ultimate boxes. Apophis, the Swamp Deity, probably not going to happen because this is a core set. We're going back to the regular Starlight rates of one in two cases versus Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge, which had the one in one case, which was a lot better for us. Uh, in terms of like pulling one, we got the Gold Pride Nitro Head. I don't think that's going to happen this time, but I would love to be surprised. Like, I'd be okay with being shocked. You know, I'm okay with that. I, I love surprises. Light of the Branded, Cash Tira, Yagamoru, uh, Choju, Choju, and wait. Oh, that was the super Choju. Okay. Six packs left. What will it be pulled? We will have to see. We have Yagamoru. We have Chaos Beast, Light of the Branded, Cash Tira, Scare Claw. That's backwards. We got a couple of aces. Okay, that was our super rare. Um, it's really hard to see these. Like, they look like not supers until I, you know, pick them up. And I'm like, oh, there we go. There's a little flash as it, you know, went by. Let's pull a Starlight to end this off. I'm totally down. I've never actually done that. 
Okay, Rinbrum the Striking Dragon. Not gonna lie, this looks really cool. I like the look of that. That's a very cool card. I think, okay, we have pulled, the only time I've pulled a random Starlight was with Simo, but that was also from a case, but it was like a case that I had like kind of pieced out box by box. Um, and that's still not guaranteed ultimate great insect, but I've never actually bought like a couple boxes and gotten a starlight That's never happened for me or blisters or anything I know a lot of you guys have done that before so count yourself lucky because like I pull a lot of starlights But it's mostly because I open a lot of cases, you know, so it's like eventually gonna happen But opening just a random one is pretty lucky like that is that takes some luck. We got a uh, Fairy ant the circular sorcerer cool. Yeah, the most random one I opened was with Simo, and that's because it was a it was a case that I had already opened a lot of and I was like oh, there's probably not one in here Chaos Beast, we got Dynamondo, Bistio Ball Drake, Homo Homunculus, hum <laughs> the Homunculus, no, I'm just kidding, okay, one pack left, Photon Hypernova, it's been a crazy opening so far, two of the $98, that is insane, that is the best card in the set, two of the best card, Lie the Brandon, let's see if we can just pull a Starlight to end this off, I'm down, okay, no Rux is special, come on, we can do this, Gishki Grimness, and a Dogmatica Alba Zoa. Are people playing the Ritual Dogmaticas? I always ask that. I, I don't really know. I, I feel like they're not, but maybe they are. Who knows? But wow, what an epic opening. Make sure you guys enter the giveaway if you guys want to win those cards. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. A lot more Photon Hypernova coming up in the next couple of days. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.